Twitter, Facebook. Hey, I'm not too happy with YouTube right now. Uh, I got a live stream last night. Parents said, hey, according to YouTube analytics there, they said no one watched it. Which is not accurate. Uh, you might notice a little difference. Uh, hmm. I, I shaved a little off there. I hope everybody's having them a good day. Thought I'd just sit and take it easy for for now. Yeah. If I'd got any more of a trim, I wouldn't have a freaking head left. By God, look at that! I'd have cut any closer. I'd have had to use bubble gum and damn bathing wire to put my head back on. Ha 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 ha! Well, they said I was hired. Now I can't get a hold of them to see if it's about when it's supposed to work. So. They were talking like they want me to come in today, and I didn't really had no sleep. So I slept in, and there tomorrow I'll go ahead and uh, I'll start blowing their phones up again. And we'll go with it from there. And there's sugar and precious. I got your plans there for tomorrow. Tonga, sugar, come here. A shiver. Precious, you monkey. All right. You don't come back, sugar. I bet you'll come back now. I call this by God. Look at there. Uh, I see you don't come back. I'll make you say, by God. Socket collar. I said to save sugar earlier. That crazy dog went trifling off in the woods, stirred up a yellow jacket nest, come tearing out the woods like it took some trees down, covered in yellow jackets. Left me out there with my cell phone brushing yellow jackets off from her. Then they decided to attack everybody. We had to fall back in the van and close the door. <laughs> yellow jackets don't play, no. All right. That knot head got an extra knot on her head now. The grand dogs? Oh, cool. <laughs> That'll work. You just lay there and take it easy, sugar. Huh. How many dogs you got there? You see that precious sugar is done to precious the sides? Not fighting, playing. Dog, uh, what you doing? Talk is gonna fix you up, sugar. You know she thinks she weighs 900 pounds. They gotta get you. Uh huh. Two. Uh, that'll work. Uh. So should I do another paranormal video, or or should I do a um, drone video? Or both. Ah, uh, sugar. Uh, both. I get I've got the uh, run security camera set up through the paces last night. Got it working. Where it's running through my uh, mini computer. 
tonight I'm have to get out there. I got to brace up a camera. One of my cameras has gotten broken. Uh, hey, I got a front porch now. You want to see it? <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you my front porch. I got tired of walking through mud. I talk. Yeah, it's big and spacious even. That's the word for the day, my God. Hey, propaganda. What happened to Kevin? How you been, man? Yep, there's my front porch. Because unfortunately, went through about two weeks of rain. And my deck shoes were staying full of mud and water. As I sure wasn't breaking out my $200 damn uh, boots. How you been, Kevin? I ain't make the bed up today. Pardon the mess. You wanna go play, sugar? Or precious? Wanna go play? Hey. All righty, if y'all were here, please hit that like button, show a little love. Ah, oh, pretty good, bro, pretty good. Let me see. I need to adjust this camera before I go do the next video. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, that camera's not facing st straight ahead. So I'm gonna be using these cameras next go around. I'm going back. Uh, gonna, pretty sure I didn't lose it on my Google Maps to where I found Bigfoot activity or evidence set. Tree, it's like a tree pulled upside down, and flipped upside down, leaned against another tree. Some really massive trees pushed over. That sort of thing. And it got to where every time I went out there, no precious, precious. Every time I went out there, stuff was running through the woods. It's Boring. <laughs> they were making some unearthly sounds. Loud as a bear. But see, I gotta fix that tomorrow. I've been cheating and I've been believing in recycling and using that can. <laughs> I've been rednecking that camera, but I need to fix that. Uh, I want to try something out. I've been out there seven times. Four of them with infrared cameras. Uh, doesn't happen other than I heard a, like, a crazy hyena type laugh come out the woods. Oh, sister got off ventilator. That's Austin. Is <laughs> he plotting revenge, huh? <laughs> there you go, Kevin. That's for you. See? No peeing off the porch. If you ever come visit me and you come get on my porch, you can't pee off from it. By God. Hee <laughs> hee. Cause this is where I stay, that's where I'm staying at, converting it, huh? Kevin, I ain't got used to staying in it. Besides that, that belongs to friends. They let me park at the back of their house. Well, she does. A uh, real nice lady, her name's Amber. Her and her daughter. And I can go in and out like I won't need to, you know. I need to go use the bathroom, I can go in and use the bathroom. Cooking is raining. I go in there and cook. If not, if it's not raining, and I stay outside and cook off my propane burner. But it's like that old saying: company and 
company, house company and friends after, are like fish. After three days or so there, they both begin to stink. <laughs> there you go, penguin. What happened? I may tell you honestly what happened. Our family member that actually is our sister initially lied to me. I was supposed to be buy this condo from her. And after about a year of being in there, she never would give me no receipts. I started writing on the checks on the payments on it for buying the condo, and she wigged the hell out on me. Said they had never been no agreement for buying the condo. And I'm out. <laughs> this is after she tried to trick me into going paying property taxes on the place. She come at me with this gay song and dance there about, well, since you buy the place already, why don't you go ahead and pay the property taxes? You know, the stuff come in the mail. And my spider sense went to tingle, I say. She ain't never give me the first receipt for being there for buying it. She changed the story about come from Louisiana to Florida. She put it in my name right away to... Well, just pay on it for a while, then she put the place in my name to pay it off, then she put it in my name to, well, you buy it, you spot you going to pay the property taxes. I ain't pay the property taxes. I ain't a good Christian morals to that. I ain't nobody can jack you around like family. <laughs> By God. She ain't nice like me. She ain't my pretty little baby there, sugar. Our precious. She see my dogs one time and turned around and asked me. All of them know how come I didn't take my dogs and have them humanely euthanized. She's a dog hater. Though she ain't like the dogs being in there. That's part of it. But... My damn dog Athena I'd had until she died uh, at 15 years old. Had to have her put to sleep. She covered us with that crap one day about wanting to know how come I'd have Athena humanely euthanized. Word for the... Uh, <laughs> that's life. I ain't gonna get, neg get negative about it. That's just the way it is. Way things are now. Ah, thank you, Penguin. Yeah, so. Sure. <laughs> Jack Kervorkian. <laughs> Good with Penguin. Hey, not all families like that now. I'm not saying they're all family, they're all sisters, but. This situation here, though, thumbs, thumbs the brakes. <laughs> Besides that, I've been planning for this day. Let's get this crap hit the fan for uh, about a year. Get a van and hit the road before I even start fooling with YouTube. Just get out and see the world. 25 years I worked with the Department of Corrections, couldn't have a beard, mustache couldn't go past the corner of my mouth, sideburns couldn't go past my ear, hair couldn't touch the collar on my in a shirt, and had to be at work a certain day a week. Sugar, precious, y'all leave that damn cat alone. Precious. Leave the cat alone. Precious. Sugar. Oh, I'll make uh, uh, Sugar. Precious. You better leave the cat alone. They were trying to eat a kitten. Oh, you been working six days a week? What you been doing, wolf? 
Yeah, I done made my mind up. I want to get out and travel. Uh, I'm just sitting here for a minute. Put some money together. I got something planned. Sibling rivalry, bro. Hey, hey. I'm going to sort you out. Sugar, come here. Sugar. Francis. I told you to get out from under there. I'm going to light you up with the shocker collar so you don't leave that kitten alone. Uh, unloading freight trucks? Ooh, that's some rough work. Kevin, I got, if you look on my Instagram page, I got pictures of Bigfoot off of my phone. There's, she thinks she's the biggest dog in the bunch. That's Amber's dog. Hey! Tonka thinks she weighs 597 pounds. <laughs> uh, the same one you were sitting there sending me uh, messages on. I'll have... I'll go back and post it on my next video, Kevin. I've actually got two Instagram accounts, not by design, but by accident. Uh, Precious bowed up at first. The last round I had, um, I'm not saying it was Bigfoot. It was several things at this place I'm going to go back to, but we wasn't there but about 20 minutes. And they come running through the woods, sounded like horses, homed in on my location. My dogs is acting sugar like precious. Precious was jumping up on her back legs and hit me in the stomach, trying to kick me back to the van. Scared to death. Precious bowed up, looked like she was wanting to fight. I had to make her get in the van. I get in the van, crank it up, the windows is all rolled up. And this is out in the woods, a good little piece of way, moving and gaining speed. There's, I must say, five or six different spots in the woods where stuff is running through, knock batting shit down. I heard the loudest, ungodliest damn growl I've heard ever heard in my life. Uh, I do not. It would have been like one thing going through the woods and made all that noise. It's like, well, I'm not a bear expert. It could have been a bear. Now, I'm not a bear expert. I believe that Megalodon is out there too, Kevin. Uh, bears don't travel in packs. Yo. Know, Soon to be mama and daddy and soon to be daddy uh, bears, you know, for during mating season might run the roads for a little while. But after that cubs is born, mama bear run that daddy bear off. They don't travel in packs. Uh, I've got the video up there where I showed something pulled like a 25 foot tree. Way up out the ground, spun it upside down, and leaned it into another tree. Then the tree next to that one got pushed into it. So basically it made like a big arrow. There's tree limbs broken, tops broke out of trees up 10 and 12 feet off the ground. And I can be a skeptic and say, well, tops of trees being broken out, high winds, a uh, really bad storm, uh, maybe, maybe it was what, it could be a culprit for blowing some stuff over like that, but it'd be a real damn fluke for something to pull about a 25 foot tall tree up out the ground, flip it upside down, stick it back to the ground, and then lean it over to another tree. And I went around and around that tree. I looked, didn't see insect damage. Uh, 
no kind of markings from like maybe a chain had been attached to it or like maybe the blades from a forklift possibly. I couldn't see where that tree was broken up from anything mechanical. Didn't see it. So now we're talking like what, one in a billion? A tornado come in, pick one tree up, spun it upside down, stuck it in the ground, and put and leaned it over. I find that hard to believe, especially since I was out there a few nights before, before I put the game camera out. And it sounded like coyotes running in at, at us. Now you know how coyotes do the yipping and cutting up. In mid coyote yip, my ears say that don't sound right. Something let out one hell of a nasty growl. So it went from a high pitched coyote yip to a deep bass guttural growl. Another coyote yip, and then it done that whoop sound that you hear from a uh, Bigfoot announced uh, trying to get other Bigfoot's attention. And right after that, three other large things come running through the woods, closing in ranks on where the one at the front was at. I don't think a coyote going to go from a yip, high pitch yip, yip, yip to something that would quaint out in volume to a oh, bear, maybe. Man, just... And you sit there uh, where the trees are flipped upside down at. There's a tree laid on its side, and all the limbs broke off on one side. Basically, it's like a catch pin. In between the trees, there's all kind of tree limbs been interwoven in, made like a wall. Almost, but not quite, ankle height. Then all on the other side where all these tree limbs have been linked, uh, laid together, more tree limbs and stuff has been laid out across there, and uh, leaves and stuff. I think that's where they might be going, yeah, it might be going up in there to sleep at. So, I'm going to try to get back out there. It's like 26 minutes from here. Go do another video on the place in the daytime. Mm-hmm, exactly, Penguin. I think that's why they got so bad with me. And they guess that's where I called it that Satan's church. Well, if you back side of that Satan's church, I look into it and it's swamp. To go around the other way and look around out there, it's swamp on either side of the road. So to me that thinks that seems to be like they come through there and feed, uh, go back in there and they sleep at. Hello there, Mr. Kenneth. How you doing? Thank you for the thumbs up, sir. So I'm going to go out there. Uh, yeah, you up late, Kevin. But I'm going to go back out there and uh, go through the woods and video that again. I'm going to put my drone up in the air see if I can fly it around, scout around and see if I can figure anything out out there. Never know. Might get one on drone video. I know this. It's got to where uh, every time that I went out there, they've come in closer and closer. And they got more aggressive. So I hadn't been back there in several months. I'd hate to lose a dog or hate to lose me out there in the middle of that mess. I believe if you trespass on the Bigfoot property and you tick them off, they can go from the hiding and not wanting to be seen to give you indications that they don't want you there. And if you keep going in, I think they'll hurt you. I think you'll wind up on a milk carton. <laughs> hey, Juanita. 
So that's why I hadn't been out there in several months. I backpedaled because last round it was uh, 520 in the evening. I don't think Bigfoot's connected with uh, Skinwalker, Kevin. I really don't. And for them to be bedding down, they keep an extended period of time on the pro uh, around. So I don't think they paranormal. Cause why would a pair? Why would a uh, a paranormal entity make a bed in the woods? Well, the problem with that is penguin is. Bigfoot's been around since uh, Indian days. And we wasn't working with no genetic research. Now, I do believe that uh, Bigfoot can kind of fade, I guess you call it fade in or fade out if they choose to. Now, whether that's a uh, plane shift to another uh, realm of being, Or they could fade out to where it's like kind of like uh, the predator, like the uh, predator from the predator movies. That's been some speculation. Hello, Mr. Vinglin. How you doing there, David? Yeah, I've heard of Skinwalker Ranch. That place is. Ugh. It might be Penguin. I think Bigfoot's got uh, ties to the gigantic. Gigantic. Pitticus, uh, I'm, I'm all in the word. Uh, I don't speak Latin. Hey, I speak curse words fluently, but not Latin. <laughs> but uh, there in China, they found the damn remains of uh, the extinct ape that they figured was around 10 to 12 feet tall, maybe weigh about a ton or right at it. Biggest primate ever, and I think they hit the land bridge between Asia over in the North American continent. Uh, they still have a uh, eight man that they looking for in China that they've got some crazy looking footprints off from. <clears throat> and of course, you got hoaxers in China. I was watching a video on that the other night. I have Chinese people come over there. He was out there looking for this thing and won't give my hair. It said it come from one of the damn, uh, I guess you call it the Chinese version of Bigfoot. I can't pronounce what they was calling it, but they brought the hair back. And they'd actually must have trimmed the damn follicle loose from the hair because it's pretty common belief that Bigfoot don't have a root on their hair. Or the follicle, and then they dyed that sucker red, a reddish color, and they had to bring that back and do all kind of damn tests on it to figure to where they could spot that it was actually dyed. That's the one. Uh uh, y'all quit. Hmm. Now that's cool, Penguin. I bet you David knows about them. You, you, what you're talking about there, that goes in uh, David Vingman's forte. He's all off into the lost uh, technology. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you quit treeing the cat, sugar? Sugar doesn't put that cat way up that tree. And I hit her with electrical current. Now she wanting to climb the tree and hide with the cat. <laughs> and as always, when there's trouble, Precious comes hides by me. She goes, you ain't hitting me with that damn collar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is going to be interesting. 
I'm gonna get this on video. Anyway, I wish you would have went up there with that cat. I'd I'd make I'll make you make another hole getting the hell out of that trampoline there, press sugar. Hmm. They think it was giants there, penguin. Minoans, Egyptians. Yep. Oh, bro, they had China, people from China was over here. Vikings made it over here. Hey, a lot of, a lot of different people made it. Um, I'd heard about their fingers by them feet Samoan Islands. They found uh, artifacts indicating that they might have been over here. Mammoths. I know that's all the big animals be roaming around and not be found. With Google Earth, I would think of something as big as a mammoth plowing along. Plowing along, uh, they'd get a mammoth. Huh. Well, what do they think that lost tribe was, Penguin? I mean, I mean the stuff they found that they left behind, did it blend in with the kind of stuff, things that uh, Native American Indians was making? Did they match up with the artifacts? Or what you, well, that'll learn you. Now, you want to jump up in the tailgate like you're supposed to? Sugar just fell out and landed on her back. I already saved her once today. I saved her from a swarm of yellow jackets. <laughs> it's possible, Kevin. I still think the dang uh, Loch Ness Monster is a damn plesiosaur. Huh. All righty, Kevin. But you have a good one, bro. Glad you come by. Hey. Well, but like any other tribe. It might have been something else besides the Indians there, Penguin. Nice. How in the world did you find that, David? Setting them on. Hello, Shelly. Bye, God. Yeah. I took a little off the bottom there. I think about taking a little off the top too. You better be leaving them damn cats alone, sugar. You better leave them cats alone. Them little kids ain't bothering you. How you doing, Shelly? Hey, look at there. See? Without my beard, now I might could win a Burt Reynolds look-alike contest, by God. <laughs> uh, I prefer the wild mountain man look, though, Shelly. <laughs> 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 
I was there thinking about that last night, thinking, you know, I married three different times. I ain't married no more, and I'm liking it. Oh, Lord, you you got some, got your hands full there, Shelly. Mm-mm-mm. So what kind of them arrows did them um, Minoans and Egyptians make, David? Come here, sugar. Sugar. Sugar booger. Here. There, that probably tastes better than that damn cat you're trying to eat anyway. That cat probably tastes like damn horse crap and roofing tar. Wait, I think that's what the rope's made out of. I got here. There you go. Oh, there. Come here, Precious. Precious. Precious will play with me. You jealous ass. Oh, damn. That's like some lethal stuff, David. Precious. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, well, I'm glad she's okay. Sugar. You better play with the rope. That rope gets you in less trouble than that cat. <laughs> huh. Part of the Green River? Hey, Whispers from the Dark, how you doing? Yeah, I had to move from my nice, comfortable swing. Them damn mosquitoes are coming out and working me over. Yeah. I ain't bulletproof and I ain't skeeter-proof either. Oh, <laughs> my God. Come on, y'all. Huh, I forgot my smokes. Uh, huh. Ooh, I've been thinking about coming to Texas. A friend of mine's telling me about a cemetery in Texas that's got over 60,000 people buried in it. Going all the way back to the uh, old west days. Hey, I'm getting tired of you. See, that's Mr. Thingy. Mr. Thingy, oh man. You leave the cat alone from Iceland. <laughs> and uh, I'm not a sir yet, Claire Penguin. And I ain't gonna sit and try to say I am. Hey, I think I'm gonna be 25 forever. <laughs> uh, I'll have to ask him again. I'm thinking it was in Austin, or not Austin, uh. I'm thinking. Might have been by Austin. <laughs> Damn, Shelly. Uh, you check old eBay, you might can find the parts you need, Shelly. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Kill Hut. How you doing, bro? 
What the heck, you know, I ain't seen you in a while. Hey. Oh, no. Dude, I was bored one night. So just for a goof, I sat there watching that rock go to all the park commercials. And, well, stay focused. Keep between the ditches and the rubber side down, Q. Hut. <laughs> but, uh, I started calling them just to get part, uh, check on parts for my Jeep I had. They're checking them against other places. And when holy moly, they charge it like crazy on parts. Way more. And I think I figured out why. They charge way more so they can make them really nice uh, com cartoon commercials with the music in the background. Mm. But... We got to have the part, though. You got to do what you got to do. Hey. So how y'all like my practically bulletproof window put up on the back of the van? Uh, I do have a potential Bigfoot hunt to go on. I've been slacking on it, but uh, about 15 minutes from here, I know a guy that uh, tell me, say, last year, police was going around. It was asked if anybody knew about a Bigfoot. That's all righty, Whispers, we're glad you come by. Oh, no. Yeah, pay him in gold, huh? But, uh, here's Chabby said the police come around investigating it, said a man filed a complaint and said a law of, he, they said a Bigfoot had tried to uh, rape him. Hey, Red Day. Take it easy here, Whispers. Uh, he's telling me, he said, he know the guy that went and parked at a dump, him and another guy there at night, and something broke and run from their location, and them in a the car making some crazy grunting sounds, and they was watching the 10 foot up trees, something batting trees the size it run away. <laughs> Thank you, Penguin. So. Uh-oh. Hey, finally caught Sugar doing something she's good at. By God. <laughs> you didn't go back out there where them yellow jackets was at, did you? There earlier, my black dog ate Sugar. Went out here in the woods beside the van, and she liked to tore the trees down getting out of there. She come out crawling in yellow jackets. And I had to get out there with a cell phone and scrape them off from her. And being precious to her, had to fall back into the van literally and shut the door. Those damn yellow jackets were still coming after her. Craven's Bay. <laughs> Damn, Shelly. Yeah. So, I doubt it's going to be a while before. Or I, or I think it'll be a while before Sugar go back up and here in these woods. Uh, you go up in there, you're going to come out way faster than you went in with yellow jackets giving you a friggin' escort. Hey, good to see you there, Whispers. 
Hope y'all come bold back. I'm been go back over here get my diet coke for the friggin' ants get in it. I don't know. I think surely even ants have better tasting getting in a friggin' diet coke. I had to go diet. Blood sugar getting the better of me. Y'all put you YouTube videos out for last night. Uh, check your analytic, analytics. Uh, I put a new video uh, live stream out last night. And it was way up this morning. And I'm looking at it. And I've seen where people viewed it. It's showing that they viewed it. But according to the analytics. It's telling me that that video had got zero views. Unless they playing, unless they get revenge with me because I demonetized my account voluntarily. Might be some kind of glitch. Uh, that right there, well, I ain't worried about Bigfoot getting up on me or other predators. Uh, Precious is always on the case looking. You gotta count on precious to be on the lookout, sugar to be trifling. <laughs> oh, like Tom Cruise, huh, penguin? By God, we well, don't slip while you slide while you sliding through the house, penguin. We. <laughs> Yep. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a live stream tomorrow night or anything tomorrow night or not. They might be walk me over and working. They so short of that Burger King. They actually asked me if I wanted to work in the back with the food or up front with the register. I told them I'd take the register. But, uh, they're, they've been having like a manager and one employee work in the store. Uh, hey, hey. They look like a real good place to work. If you died in this area, they're hiring. I'm thinking I'm going to call them jokers. Uh, call them. Uh, them tomorrow, and if they not want me to work, hmm. I'm gonna go back out to Satan's church again. Well, I tell you what, anybody doubt me on uh, unexplained, very loud noises from animals coming from out the woods. Uh, you can check with Alan and Rosie from Alan and Rosie's Adventures. They'll tell you we was out there one night and had us a day. Uh, I done a cookout with my grill. And while we there cooking off my grill, you see here, something really big was in the damn woods. I mean, just like within feet of us stomping around in there making noise to let us know it was there it seemed like it was very intentional uh, I'm not too sure about that food preparation mess but Ah, uh, tell me about it, Penguin. 
25 years, I work in the Department of Corrections in Louisiana. I see about the worst that humanity has to offer. <laughs> I know that uh, that night I was out there doing a live stream. I didn't see anything. It wasn't picked up on the cameras. I was using infrared night vision. It absolutely did not pick up anything out the ordinary. Not visually. But something was walking around and breaking sticks and stuff in there. In the woods. I actually went in there. Then something come around by, on the front end of the van. It would walk around making noise let me know I was surrounded. And that's about the time stuff started getting thrown and bouncing off my left shoulder. Uh, I think it was acorns. It's in the dark, hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it was acorns. And it wasn't being thrown super hard or nothing. It was just like something just tossing stuff in on me. And the, the thing is, if acres have been coming down and hitting like right here on my left shoulder, I say, well, that's some acres falling out of a tree. But out of about six different volleys, it felt like multiple things bouncing off from me. They were all hitting way over here on the side of my shoulder. Point of impact was inward. <laughs> there you go, Shelly. And that's why, I, that's why I think I was out there, and it was it was Bigfoot. I'd, be, I'd put money on it. <laughs> you and me both, penguin. Cause you got something in the woods in front of in there in the woods that's in front of you. There's something moving around out on the road in the edge of the woods on the other side of your vehicle. And you start getting pelted with things. Nothing hard, just toop, toop, toop. It's saying I'm here. It's like go away. And the funniest part about all that, I laugh about the next day was the battery pack from my selfie uh, stick I was using for selfie light. Uh, like an idiot, jaw dropped it and it unplugged itself. So I'm standing here in the dark with something moving around that I can't identify. Try to keep a calm tone of my voice and all. Just like, well, yeah, this is not a good thing to drop something in the woods like this, my battery pack. Now I gotta plug it back up in the dark and I don't know what's out here with me. <laughs> Outwardly, my reaction is like it is now. <laughs> Inwardly, it was a whole different story. I, I kind of wanted to break and run out that freaking woods is what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Shelly, people could be a pain. What's happening, Jezebel? Yep. You're right about that, Shelly. Uh, don't want to call nobody name and be no name spreader. But they somebody around here close that I don't care for at all. Dogs don't care for. And day before yesterday, I was over at a store. He comes walking up. Yeah, peanut butter saves lives. Hey, unless you get choked on it, by God. <laughs> and he come up wanting to try to talk. Well, be all up my business. Won't know where I'm staying at. What I've been doing. What I'm going to do. Just real pointed questions. And our dogs was turning the damn uh, van upside down. Wanting to get out there and eat that ass up. I'm sitting there with food. When there's food around them dogs are so calm and tranquil. They sit there slobbering, wanting to get them a hamburger. And this person here set them off. So that tell me right there, uh, they know damn good. P 
<laughs> there you yeah, there you go, penguin. Pretty much. Uh, there you go, sugar. What happened, baby? Yeah, I know me doing this video, there might be some people sit there and go, you got shocking collars on your dogs, and shocking collars are cruel, and they, they hurt them, and they mean, and they hurt their feelings, and make it butt shits, or whatever. Uh, only thing I know to tell you is... Alabama got a lease law, and right now, as long as they in the yard, we're not having any problems, but there's been a couple of times, or twice, that somebody's walked down the road in front of the dogs. <laughs> nah, I want to rub Bigfoot down in peanut butter, listen to him cuss when he tries to wash that out of his hair, David. <laughs> Dark matter. <laughs> Terrence. <laughs> there you go. But sugar don't go out on the road to go after somebody. I've got them trained to stay in the yard, so they don't like somebody and they're on the road. They'll run up to the edge of the road and bark and raise hell with them. But they'll go in that road. Yep. Damn it. I'd like to feed the possums and the raccoons to, uh, to sugar and precious. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, Yaren. I forgot the name. Might do a video on that. Uh, I've got a question. Uh, which y'all like would do me uh, best? Me to do topics on cryptids, do like news reports like I've done with, um, I've done a couple of times in the past. That's it, um, Dark Matter. I had peanut butter, Shelly, and sugar eat it. Along with part of the damn cologne container. <laughs> All right, Shelly. Would y'all be interested in me doing more uh, news coverage on uh, cryptids? Peanut butter tasty. Hey, now that's an idea. I'll do that, Dark Matter. <laughs> that's a good idea. To give you an idea of what these dogs will eat. I've got a shelf phone that I fell on and broke. But I had. Take it easy there, Shelly that I had, past tense. And they take $55 a month out my dang uh, checking account. Been doing it for two months now. They not gonna stop. So I called them today, get them to stop to take the, the deducting the money out my checking account. They like, well, watch the number, phone number associated with the account. It's like, I don't remember. But you have the number off the phone. So I don't have the phone. They won't know what happened to the phone. I had to tell them. I heard a crunching in the van the other night. Sugar chewed up and ate my damn broken phone. I found the lens cover, like the little bitty lens. Uh, part of a circuit board. A couple of very small fragments of the... Uh, Pasta cow, hey <laughs> waffles. <laughs> I found a small piece of the circuit board. All righty, we'll do, Shelly. I oh, know sugar better quit eating rope. She eats rope, then she can't digest the rope. Uh, I've known of them biting people. I've had one charge me. They've got a mouthful of teeth. Thanks so much, Penguin. Yeah, they, um, Sugar went through, uh, last week, two different times. She went to take a crap, 
had about two foot of rope come out. Ah, ah, ah. Then I had to treat her like a zip strip and draw a race car. Grab that rope and yank it loose and watch her run out across the yard looking behind her like, what, WTF, WTF, WTF. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you think it's seeing a dog act funny? Snatch about two foot of rope out the rear end there and watch him take off. <laughs> They'll leave the ground off of that. <laughs> Precious, leave the kitty alone. Sugar. <laughs> it's like pool starting a lawnmower. By God, sugar. I'll leave the kitten alone. Hey, K pup, the kitten's little. He's stupid, don't know to be scared of y'all. <coughs> yep. Sugar. All right, get ready to ride the lightning, sugar. I said stop. Uh-huh, see, she stopped. Yeah, Dark Matter, they had, um, got a woman over here close by me. And she got one of those dogs, Akita. They's known for being protective of hell in their house. Yeah. All her last month, she went about 14 days and couldn't crap right. I was giving her egg slacks like three times a day. Egg slacks, uh, clear legs, soft dog food, uh, pumpkins to get her cleared out. Oh, that's uh, Amber's dog, Tonka. Uh, yeah, but... Talk about what you doing? Yep. Where you at, sugar? We still got a kitten loose. Crashes, you better leave that kitten alone. You better leave that kitten alone. They, they, Crashes ain't really trying to hurt the kitten. She want to make friends. They friends with the other cats in the house with just these two kittens they wandered up the other night. So Sugar and have hadn't quite figured out since Amber adopted the kittens since they come up that the kittens are supposed to be here too. Amber's got a pet rabbit that Sugar wants to play with. Hard a rabbit will rub noses through the fence. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's K-I-T-A. Yeah, they they known for being uh, aggressive. But this woman's key to here was an inside dog. And unfortunately, he'd slipped outside and they didn't realize it. Boy comes walking up the street, picks him up a tree limb. And it caused that dog to come out on the road after him. He swung and hit the dog. The dog bit him. The dog wound up in the dog pen and put the dog to sleep. And just a couple of months ago, I had that boy come through with a half of a tree limb and all the little branches coming off from it. He was walking down the road, staring at my girls there, all the ugly, and popping the road with that stick, trying to dare them to come out there on him. And thanks to shock and collar training and good training, just being persistent, making them mine, they didn't go out there on him. He done brought a little old pee piddling ass damn little tree limb out there to pick a fight with two dogs and both of mine are pit bulls. Hey, fallen angel. Yeah, they do, dark matter. Years ago, Christmas day, I had a dog I went and brought out of Athena but to put her out on the chain in the yard. 
she bellered, jumped straight up in the air, and looked around behind her. I spun around, looked the direction she was looking. There's a damn little old boy all in camouflage. Camouflage hat, camouflage pants, camouflage shirt, with a brand new Christmas issue freaking pellet rifle he done shot my dog with. Last I seen, he was running up the tracks to get away. Yeah, I wouldn't. Don't want to make nobody mad and unsubscribe from my channel, uh, Penguin, but. I think that boy deserves some harsh punishment out of that. From Homer. I, I missed a call from a Homer. I don't know who Homer is. Oh, wait, I know who that is. That's, I know who that is. I'm pretty sure I do. What you been doing there, father? Yeah, it needed to be about every time somebody think about it. Problem is this day and time, he went home quimpering and crying, and mama, mama, and they fed the little son of a gun ice cream. Ah, 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 ah. leave the cat alone, the cat is not for eating. Uh, it might taste good in ketchup, but you're not ever going to find out. Ah, ah, ah. Leave the kitty alone. That's a good kitty. Hey! <laughs> Waiting for the internet to go down? Yeah, that sucks. You leave the kitten alone. Now, how can you mess with something that's, that, that's nice and stupid like that? Have a damn big dog biting at them like that. They just sit there humped up like, leave me alone. <laughs> you don't go me at the cat. I'll pull your damn nose. I'll get out of your nose. Rain, yeah. Well, I ain't see no rain in two days. Thank God. I was showing everybody earlier, I put a front porch up for my van. I had to. My feet were staying wet and muddy. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know what you're saying, Penguin. It's all good. <laughs> That's it. Y'all leave the kitty alone. See? There's another kitty. Them two wandered up here the other night. Somebody must have put them out. No, YouTube ain't right. But it's the best we got. Yeah, I sit there, stayed in my dang van. Ah, ah, ah. Sugar, don't you go running off. And I put a front porch in. I'm going to bring that with me when I finally get back out on the road again. I don't be waddling through mud. Ah, no. No, we don't know. Sugar, don't you do it. What's sad is, is I fussed with sugar so much now, I can go to say precious and I end up saying sugar. <laughs> now it's got to where I go to fuss them and I say sugar and precious will stop. <laughs> it's kind of interchangeable now. I say sugar and they both turn around and look. I say precious, they'll both turn around and look. I know people think socket collars are, are mean, but they not. I've seen people run down the road, go around the neighborhoods doing 40 and 50 mile an hour on roads you shouldn't be doing 15 on. And your dog's in the road and gets hit by a car. They won't even stop and look. Sooner or later, like that, somebody like that ends up hitting somebody's youngin'. Them dogs done unplugged my damn uh, back porch light today. I gotta go back in there. 
go check the wiring up. I know which one, so I can fix it in about five minutes. Huh. Yeah. My wiring in the van looked like a rat's nest. I'm not an electrician. Hell, an electrician will probably have trouble trying to figure out how to rewire the van. But I know where them wires are. I can fix it in the dark. Hey, there you go, dark. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm gonna wind this shit up. Uh, I gotta get there. Just some wiring out in the van. I gotta bring these two kittens back in the house. <laughs> hey, they had to catch you at it first, sorry, Blart. Hey, did the kittens get out? Yeah, they right here. Hey, kittens are here. Come on, guys. It's time to eat. That's what talk, that's what sugar. God damn it! I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Sugar, now shut your butt down. Shut. Sorry. Scratch, you married slipping mud. That's why I didn't want to jump on me. I was standing in mud. That's why I put a front porch up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, about two weeks is my damn shoes staying full of mud. What are you talking to? I'm on live stream. Oh, All right, now you're on live stream. Oh, that's Amber. Hey, that's my buddy Amber right there. Come on, boys. I'm going to go let them eat. All righty. And the dogs want to eat, too. They want to eat the cats, but All I wouldn't. Right. Well, it seems like they're getting along pretty well. They are. The cats ain't showing no fear. Fuck no. Come on, boys. Did they get out by the window, or you let them out? Mm, window. Window. Shake Will we fix that window? No, I'm making him do it. Okay. Back up, precious. Back up. Uh-huh. Yeah, bro. I've been there. Been several years back. And I had a grown daughter-in-law decided that the house I bought, the camper I bought, it all on land I bought out of my retirement money, she decided part of that was hers. She come over to the house one day demanding me for me to give her money. She, shit, 22, 23 years old. Told her I ain't giving you no damn money. She tell her mom to make, to make me give her some money where she can. Say, that ain't happening either. She, what you need to do is leave. She put all my mamas. This is ours. You, you don't like it. You can. Oh shit. <laughs> I ain't worked 25 years get pushed off my property. Take it easy, air penguin. But she kept trying to. How the fuck did this happen? Get up in the house. I wouldn't let her up into my camper. She run into me three or four times. What happened? I don't know. I thought you were still in the backyard. I moved around to get to some light, but uh, I ain't touch her. She, she run into me and she's. Big and fat and right town, or how shall we say? No, but she faked the fall, then they tried to get her mom to sit and tell the cops I pushed her. Hold on. Hold on. I'll save you. Give me a minute. Yeah. Yeah, if them kids get smart enough now, they're dark and they want to sit there and try to push them things around. Stop. Stop, sugar. Toad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Toad, stay over in there. Well, they don't have a little bit full of cat litter. No doubt. There you go. Dad'll do that there. Well, I'll be right back. Yep. I was friends with a guy. He still was kind of wild and woolly and a little rough around the edges. 
But he said he's seen there he was so much worse and respect your mom and dad give them a nut bit trouble. Uh, he said the best thing they ever done for him was he got his little ass in jail. Oh, thank you. You're and they wouldn't bail him out. They made him stay the weekend. Oh, bruh. Hey, there all things exist. Hey, I've been meaning to tell y'all, but all things exist. They uh, really look out for me. That demon from that Harrison Cemetery was after me hot and heavy, doing a lot of crazy things. And she bailed me some holy water from Lord's France. Honey? Love and peace to you, Penguin, huh? I ran into a damn spider Ugh. That's yucky. You got... <laughs> yep, but they they fixed him up. They he went in that jail like a wild Indian. So he come out like a pilgrim. That was his words, not mine. <laughs> so he was thankful by God. <laughs> That might have kept him going to prison. Hell, I said I talked to a woman in uh, Louisiana who's going into court raising her granddaughter. You got a frog in your throat? She had an AT&T phone bill that was about 15 feet long. It just unrolled and unrolled and unrolled and unrolled. She raises her granddaughter because her daughter turned out to be a drug addict. Her granddaughter had been calling him 1900 psychic hotline numbers to the point where she needed a psychic and maybe a couple of military strategists to figure out how she's supposed to pay for that phone bill. And say she put in a whoop that girl's ass. That girl popped off and told her, You called a claw, you, you whoop me. I would call the law on you for for child abuse. I'll have you arrested. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Where are you gonna go? I just took her ass down there to the freaking dropped her off. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. And how you do it there, Dark? That ex brother in law. We were running rough shot around there. He wound up leaving from his mom's and moving in with his ex stepdad, if I understood the story right. But, uh, he ain't won't listen. He was uh, in the house. It popped off and called his stepdad some bad choice words. And uh, there you go. <laughs> For the weekend, damn it. I might as well rubbed him down with some damn peanut butter and syrup there, Dark. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I said, his stepdad had knocked him smooth out one lick. I think I screwed up. How's that? <laughs> I'll have a minute in a minute. <laughs> he said, when he woke, he come to, he was out in the yard. All the shit was laid out there in the yard with him. He said, he didn't know how long he'd been out, but he was out long enough. His step, uh, ex stepdad, he laid all his stuff out there with him. They told him, get up, get, don't look back. <laughs> He learned to start respecting people. <laughs> Call tough love.
Uh, I'm gonna do a drone video to, uh, tomorrow if I can. I don't know if they're gonna want me to go to work in a new job or not. Hey, he turned his life around after that, huh, Dark? Hey, there, there's some good bills right there. Get you some bills in, you don't like them. Don't open them. That way you don't ruin your day. You just put them out there, make a nice big campfire out of them. I guess not. <laughs> Ooh, I'm kidding. That's not really. Uh, well, one is a bill, but it's paid for the month. Other ones, some uh, for our damn. Try to get that law down. <laughs> there you go, dark. Bills, by God. <laughs> oh, sugar, I got you a sugar snack. You ain't gonna eat it. I've already tried you. Sugar will. She eat one of my cell phones the other night. You know what I gave her. <laughs> What'd you give her? You already know. Uh -oh. Another cell phone? Uh, <laughs> uh, she's probably gonna be laying on the ground. Hear me? Oh, what? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. 10-4. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Here in a minute, she'll probably be laying on the ground. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's a sugar snack. It's a sugar. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, I gotta get back inside. Them skeeters is about to carry me off. Uh, Y'all kids, check each other's channels out. Show a little love. Oh, it's my buddy Amber. Hey. Yeah, they ain't carrying you off yet. You're still here. Yeah. I'm saying that one flies right in my face. Damn it, yeah, them damn skeeters about to fly no. in my face. <laughs> yeah, you big horse. Dark matter said hi, Amber. Hey. See, he said hi. Yeah, she'll fuss and raise hell with them. They need it sometime, a lot of time. <laughs> and she loved them dogs. Oh, yeah. Very fiery. <laughs> good person. Real good people. But, yeah, I'm fixing to get off. Uh... <laughs> hey, Dark Matter said you're a little firecracker. <laughs> you, you don't know me yet. <laughs> she said, you don't know me yet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. If I didn't know any better, I'd think she was one of them Louisiana Coon-ass girls. But she's a 100% Alabama. Yeah, but she mad, bro. Look out. She ought to pick up a dang open end wrench and throw at you. She been known to chunk him around. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'll pick it up. Uh, hey, hey. Love y'all to death. Thanks for coming. Y'all have a good one. Check out uh, Fallen Angel. Uh, dark matters. Hey, hey. real K-pop. Y'all leave a comment at the end. Uh, I'll make sure no, no more, no, no, no. to go back and share out every channel. Uh, sometimes I forget. I've got a bad memory. It's Good night, bro. What is it? CRS can't remember shit. Pretty much.
much on my mind. Pretty much like same shit every day, SSD. Exactly. Hey, I would show y'all a little bit better. I don't want you two flipping out for having a, a small kid in a video, even though Amber wouldn't mind, but. Ugh. The day been laundry day. I'll we'll try to cover for you having clothes out on the couch. Those are from when we went swimming last weekend. Oh, y'all went swimming? Last weekend. Yep. Libby, Libby. Not yourself. You're not Oh, she said go. Hey, Giga, go play. Hey, y'all, y'all.